So we're going to start today with the foundational piece of my business, the most foundational piece of my business. And that is called the circle of control. The circle of control. So we live a lot of times in the circle of worry. So in your book, you actually have a page about the circle of control and the circle of worry. So it's the very um, first page after you get introduced to my partners, which I will, who I will talk about later, and um, the message from me and some hashtags. But you have a page right here, circle of control versus circle of worry. Circle of worry is really, really big, but don't worry about it. <laughs> the circle of control is where we have control. So I want you all to tell me what is the one and only thing in your lives that you have control over. Yes. Thank you, Donna. I see you all. Like me. Yes. You are the only thing that you can control. You can't control your clients. You can't control the economy. You can't control this election. You can't control anything except you and your attitude, your responses, and your actions. That's what you have control over. Isn't that great news? Whew. No more worries. <laughs> so, um, Dustin, would you mind sharing that slide on the circle of control for me? Thank you. So there we go. What we can't control, other people's actions, other people's feelings, other people's opinions, and other people's mistakes. We can't control it. What we can control, your attitude, your effort, your behavior, your actions, your responses, that's what you have control over. That's what you have control over. So um, we're going to move, move to the next slide. How do we get there? <laughs> this is how we get into the circle of control. And then we're going to talk about how to expand the circle of control. So to get into the circle of control, to be empowered, here's what you do. Number one, you focus on the things that you can do something about, which we just saw in that past slide. We focus on the things that we can do something about. Secondly, we learn to accept the problems we can't do anything about, and we learn to live with them even if we don't like them. Because <laughs> we don't have control. We don't have control. And we have to say, I don't have control over that. You know what? Today, we didn't have control over the fact that Comcast went out in the city of Colorado Springs. We had control over a hotspot on Verizon and a hotspot on such and so's phone, like, you know, Chris's phone, Abby's phone, um, the manager here at the club, Kevin's phone. Like, we had, we're like, hotspots, hotspots. We had control over that. We had no control over Comcast. But we gathered together. We didn't freak out. Well, we might have freaked out a little for a minute. And then we had to get to work, right? So learning to accept what we don't have control over and tapping into what we do. Look at where you're focusing your time and your energy. Are you focusing your time and your energy on what you don't have, what you're worried about? I wish this, I wish that, I wonder about that. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. That old adage of, if I have wishes in one hand and spit in the other, <laughs> at least I have spit in this hand. This hand has nothing. Wishes. Nothing. Air. Do you want wishes or spit? Right? <laughs> and we choose our actions. We have to choose and own our actions. Choose and own our actions. That means we accept the consequences of our actions and we celebrate the, what is the word that I'm looking for? The results of our actions. It could be a consequence, it could be a result. And consequence, I put result or consequence because consequence has such a negative connotation, but consequence is really just the result. I mean, it's another word for result. We just have a negative connotation about it. So that's how we get into the circle of control is thinking that way. Are you focusing your time and your energy? Okay? So go ahead and unshare the screen. Thank you. 
All right, so we're going to take a minute here, and I would like you to write down on your paper, hold on a second here, um, you turn the page from the circle of worry, circle of control. It has three things that you wish were different in your business or projects that you would like to start that would move the needle forward. So this is the place to write down your business wishes. You're not problem solving around them right now. You're doing what I just told you not to do, which is wish, but we're going to figure out how to make these wishes come true. So what are things wish you had in your business or wish were different in your business or projects that you would like to start that would move your needle forward? So take a minute here to write down your business wishes.